I am on the beautiful campus of NCKU University here in Tainan, and I'm headed to NCKU Hospital for my first official doctor's visit. So if you want to see what the process looks like for a foreigner to visit a Taiwanese hospital, follow along. Hi everyone, my name is Leah. Welcome to my channel. If you are interested in what life looks like living and working abroad, this channel's for you. All right, I've been procrastinating and putting it off long enough. Today, I need to get a refill for my inhaler. I'm also here for a brand new issue. I have a mild thyroid condition, which I have been able to manage for many years with natural remedies, but for some reason, I can't find them on the internet anymore. Of all the days I have wanted to film, I have forgotten my microphone. So I hope that you can hear me while we're headed over. I'm getting all of my paperwork together before I go into the building. If you are new to Taiwan or thinking of living and working here, you are going to be part of what's called the NHI. The NHI is a comprehensive, mandatory medical system that is offered to all foreigners and all Taiwanese residents. It's funded through payroll premiums and government subsidies. And your payroll premiums are going to be determined by the salary that you make when you arrive into Taiwan. The NHI system is very different from the American system. Aside from the fact that everybody has coverage, it is really, really comprehensive. I'm going to show you the ease of the process of going to see the doctor. The first thing that you're going to get is this medical card. It is attached to your ARC or your passport number and it has everything that you have ever gone through in the hospital on this card. All of your procedures, all of your doctor's visits, all of your operations, your COVID status if you've ever had to stay in the hospital and it's all on this chip. So let's look at what the process looks like going all the way through from booking an appointment to seeing your doctor. You can call your local hospital or you can use the internet to register for an appointment. I prefer online because the details and the definition of what each clinic does helps you to narrow down your selection that's right for you. Appointments can be scheduled no further than six weeks out. You have a choice between morning and afternoon appointments. From here, you'll choose your doctor into your identifying information, into your contact information, and you'll receive an appointment number and you're done. We are all set. I am headed to room 233. When you arrive, you'll just check in digitally and then you'll put your medical ID card and confirmation paperwork in the check-in slot. Now we wait. The doctors will visit with you using as much time as you need. They are not limited to slot times like the U.S. I don't want to forget. Okay, so essentially, I came in for just a refill on my inhaler and ended up with like all of these different things that my doctor suggested that I do because I haven't been retested since I've arrived in Taiwan almost three years ago. Apparently the inhaler that I have, there are new options for short-term um, relief and I need to have my lungs tested. So I will be back next week for a full workup, I guess. All of our follow-up appointments are scheduled at the same time in the doctor's office, along with all of the lab work. And now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to pay. The cost of your doctor visit includes all medication that's been prescribed to you. I do. I have to say that I am eternally grateful that I live here and that I am able to have confidence in being able to get my health taken care of because in America, we would wait until the last minute. Like if it is not a matter of life and death, I, I would wait. Would you wait? I, I don't remember the last time I actually went to the doctor. My All of mine have been catastrophic emergency room visits automobile accidents. I don't go, you just don't go to the doctor. That's yeah, the not, not for not for maintenance or preventive maintenance. But there's no, yeah, because I can't afford it. What is the difference between Taiwan healthcare and healthcare in America? I've run into my significant other who is across the street. But I didn't know you were gonna be here. No, you didn't. <laughs> I was like, hey, who's that? I made this appointment yesterday. So I have to say the biggest difference that I have seen like right off the bat, of course, is cost. This visit to include my prescription only cost me 590 NT, which is 
this amount in USD. That price would be unheard of in America. Another difference that we've experienced is the availability of specialty doctors without the needs for referrals. You have had way more experiences and the needs for specialists than I have. So maybe you can chime in with uh, information that you want to share. Whenever I came in from the emergency room, they sent me straight to a neurologist to see if I may be fistula rather than running me to a general practitioner who then had to refer me to get a test and refer me you know, straight from the emergency room straight over to the neurologist and they're like, yeah, let's take a little, let's admit you to the hospital tonight, so. That was pretty cool. I, don't, I mean, it's not cool to have <laughs> but. I do feel like the doctors that, that are here tend to prescribe prescriptions a lot more than I would say American doctors. I feel like I people don't, don't walk that. away from here feeling like something has been accomplished unless they've been given a prescription. I would feel that it's more similar to the U.S. because of the amount that they depend on drugs. I do think that that's a parallel at more than a contrast with the United States. I know when I've gone to the doctor for a cold or taken my children to the doctor for a cold, they won't give anything because it's a virus. You can't do anything with virus. The virus has to run its course. Whereas I feel like if I were to come here for a cold, I would be walking away with something. I mean, I do have a lot of unnecessary... Oh, well, you've seen it. We've gone through my meds. Yes. We've gone through my meds and I'm like, I don't need that. Why am I taking this? Yep. So, okay. One for so. Leah. One for Leah. One for Leah. <laughs> I also love the fact that your doctor's visits include the prescription when you walk out. Now, I know that we mentioned this earlier, but in case you're not aware, in the U.S., you have the option of getting the prescription filled at the hospital, but because... Healthcare is so expensive. What you usually do is end up shopping around to see who has the cheapest price for the same drug across the board. And if you can get a generic version of that same drug, yep, you can there, get there's no generic options here. It's just whatever they have, yeah. you get. I, I asked, I was like, is there anything generic? And they're like, what's, he couldn't understand what I was asking. And I was like, oh, so there's nothing cheaper. He's like, it's included in the price. I'm like, I've already paid for it. He's like, when you pay for my visit, you pay for your prescription. I'm like, that's new. I had a prescription that was filled for a year here. They gave me a month supply and I did not go back for month two because I thought that I had to pay oh, for right, it. Right. Remember and I was like, oh, we're just waiting until my paycheck gets in. When I went to go get it, I was like, here, I'm here to pay for month two. They were like, the visit that you had covered you for a year. You show up at any pharmacy it's on your uh, NHI health card. That chip that I showed you guys earlier shows all of your information. So they're able to pull it up, but yeah. I had no idea. How does the experience that I've shared with you today compared to health insurance where you are. Leave a comment in the comment box below. Ah! You know what, it's okay if you get stung by a bee, I'm sure they'll take care of her at the hospital. <laughs> we are on our way to go have dinner with Sunday. And I feel great now because if all of the five o'clock traffic here makes my asthma flare up, I have my inhaler. All oh, right. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.